Hi, folks. Andre Moreland and Andre Moreland Superstars in Saxon and Dexter, Missouri. Let Jeff Williams rope a deal for you. If you've been looking for America's hottest selling SUV, the Chevrolet Equinox or the GMC Terrain with a 32 miles per gallon highway, we got them. Two huge locations to serve you. That's Moreland Chevrolet Cadillac and Dexter and Andre Moreland Incorporated in Saxton, Missouri. Moreland stand on the back of your car, truck, or horse. You pay too much. Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. Today we have several stories in local news that might be of interest to you. The week of May 9th through the 15th has been declared Nursing Home Week across the nation. The week is set aside to honor all nursing professionals who strive each day to brighten the days of nursing home residents across the country. At Bloomfield's Golden Living Center, where Gene Rice serves as administrator, a crew of individuals work each day at making life better for those seniors whose home, rather permanent or temporary, is at the center. The center, which boasts providing physical, emotional, and spiritual needs to their residents, operates their rehab program five days a week. Patients have access to a number of innovative methods and utilized to improve their mobility, their speech, and even swallowing and bladder control. There's a lot more on this story. You'll really want to check out the print edition to find out some of the things that they offer there. Some really impressive services. A total of 15 four- and five-year-olds donned their graduation caps and stepped into the next level of education Wednesday at Southwest Elementary. The giant leap served as the first of many for the class that is scheduled to graduate from high school in the year 2023. A full house was on hand in the kindergarten lobby to witness the tiny graduates receiving their diplomas. There are a lot of pictures in today's printed edition that are just as cute as can be. You need to see them. On another note, to pay for intensive therapy for their autistic children, Missouri families have maxed out credit cards, refinanced homes, and depleted their savings. Soon, their costs could be covered by health insurance, though. Missouri lawmakers gave final approval Wednesday to legislation requiring group insurance policies regulated by the state to cover up to $40,000 a year of behavioral therapy for autistic children through age 18. Governor Jay Nixon is expected to sign the mandate, adding Missouri to a growing list of states that have enacted autism insurance laws within the past several years. In local sports, walks have been a thorn in the Kennet Indians' side of late. The Tribe issued eight walks to lose to Notre Dame in the finals of the SEMO Conference Tournament last week and issued nine free passes Wednesday to drop a 7-3 decision to the Dexter Bearcats here at East Park. Hester, Mills, George, and Young each had a pair of hits to pace the Bearcats' 11-hit attack. Dexter is off until it opens the Class 3 District 1 tournament on Monday against Carothersville. The Cardinals had to swallow a tough loss last night as Houston again took down the Redbirds 9-5. Twice late in the game, the Cards made a run trying to tie it, but each time came up short. This takes the team's record to 20-14 and 14 and cuts their lead in the National League Central Division down to one game, so it's really getting tight now. Uh, the Cardinals will face the Houston Astros again this afternoon at 12:40 behind pitcher Chris Carpenter, so make sure and watch. Today's high is expected to get up around 86, with lows dipping into the mid-60s tonight. There's a slight chance of storms during the day today that will increase the later it gets. The National Weather Service office in Paducah, Kentucky, stated that the region is at risk for severe weather today, so you'll want to stay tuned. Don't forget, you can always sign up for National Weather Service severe weather alerts as text alerts through TextCaster on our website. It's free, and it's a handy feature. It'll send you text messages just as soon as warnings are issued. Before we close, I want to remind everyone to tune in for our upcoming Dexter High School graduation webcast Friday night. It's going to begin around 645 also, later in the weekend, we'll be webcasting Bloomfield and Bernie's graduations as well. Bernie's will be at 2 o'clock on Sunday, and Bloomfield's will be at 4. All you have to do to watch is simply visit the Daily Statesman website and click on the link at the top left. There will be a link that says Dexter Graduation, Bernie Graduation, Bloomfield Graduation, and just click on the one that you want to watch, and it will take you straight to the page where that one will be shown. So don't forget to let your loved one know. We hope this will be a good opportunity for people who otherwise couldn't attend to have the opportunity to see their family or friend or other loved ones graduate. So check it out. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us once again here for the Statesman Newscast. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or submissions for our reader questions segment, email me, Corey, at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's print edition for the stories you've already heard about and much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.